I don't cook rice often, but when I do, I always make sure that I'm saving the rice water so that I can do this treatment. Um, I usually use brown rice, but this time during quarantine, I felt really inclined for white rice. So the results for me when using rice water is that it detangles my hair beautifully. Like you'll see how easily I'm able to run my hands through my hair and it just leaves my hair feeling soft and my hair is bouncy. I can feel that my hair is not fragile. Oh, and I don't know if I'm imagining this, but whenever I've used rice water, this video is actually way overdue. Two years ago, I filmed a video about rice water. I took a 30 day challenge to see what the benefits are. And I spoke about the origin of rice water. So where it comes from. And I also spoke about the type of nutrients that's in it. So for this video, I won't bore you with all of those details. If you want to go watch that video, I will link it in the description below. And for this video, I'm going to be talking about how I use rice water for how long um, and just the process because it's good to know the information but it's the action the method that actually counts so here's a jar of white rice water that i fermented for five days i'll get into the fermentation process now but i put this water in a spray bottle so that i can easily spray the water onto my hair i'll also get into white rice versus brown rice and show you exactly how I apply it to my hair in sections. So firstly, when I do use rice water, I use it as a rinse, as a treatment, a protein treatment, but uh, it's like a normal wash day for me. I will shampoo, I will condition, and then I'll add the rice water to my hair for a certain amount of time um, before I rinse it. I receive questions about how long you can leave the rice water on your hair for, and I would say that you should use it um, in conjunction with your wash day routine. So if you wash your hair once a week, like I do, then definitely include it into your routine like that. But remember that this is a protein treatment. So um, if you wash your hair every day, it's maybe not a good idea to use the rice water every day because you might get a protein overload and that can do more harm than good for your hair. Because the rice water is like, even in my last video, I said it's like a multivitamin for the hair. And the goal of protein is to ensure that your hair is hydrated and that it's strong and that it increases the elasticity of your hair and if you overload it then it could cause breakage so we don't want that i would suggest you use it once a week so here my hair is freshly washed i shampoo to clarify and i condition to add moisture back into my hair and now i'm going to apply the rice water Remember that you don't have to apply the rice water the way I do. I know that it seems a little bit of a mission. You could simply pour it onto your head and massage your scalp while the water is running through your hair in the shower. But for me, I like to be thorough because I only wash my hair once a week. And I prefer to section it so that I know that I'm getting to all parts of my scalp. Using a tangle teaser also just helps to detangle and evenly distribute the rice water throughout my hair. So I always work from root to tip when I'm doing a treatment, when I'm just hydrating my hair, then I'll start from the ends to the root. But with this treatment, you really want to focus on the scalp so that you can stimulate your roots. And remember that the ends of your hair is actually dead hair. Even if your hair is super healthy, your ends aren't alive. So while you want to get this rice water on your entire head of hair, you want to make sure that you focus on the scalp and that you're really like massaging at the roots of your hair because that's going to make this treatment really effective. Now right now there's nothing else on my hair but the rice water and you can see how healthy and hydrated my hair already looks. There's a little bit of a sheen and it's probably also the reflection of the water but you can see that my hair does look like it's getting proper hydration. I decided to use a plastic on my head because you know when your your head is heated your hair follicles open up and you're able to absorb more moisture i wanted my hair to absorb more nutrients so that's why i added the plastic to my hair and then i also added the satin bonnet to increase the level of heat oh and also just moving back to the benefits because if you haven't seen my 
previous video the results for me when using rice water is that it detangled my hair beautifully like you'll see how easily i'm able to run my hands through my hair and it just leaves my hair feeling soft and my hair is bouncy i can feel that my hair is not fragile oh and i don't know if i'm imagining this but whenever i use rice water which is not that often i'm definitely gonna do a length check when i do a normal wash day as opposed to a rice water wash day because i don't know if i'm imagining it but whenever i use rice water it seems as though the shrinkage is way less another question that came up was whether to use just boiled um, rice water or whether you should let the rice water ferment i let this water ferment for five days and just because the longer you let the rice water stand the more um, the nutrients are enhanced because of the fermentation process. I don't cook rice often, but when I do, I always make sure that I'm saving the rice water so that I can do this treatment. Um, I usually use brown rice, but this time during quarantine, I felt really inclined for white rice. So brown rice is a healthier option and it's a more nutrient packed option if you're wanting to use this as a treatment. Um, just because brown rice hasn't had the husk removed yet where white rice has so my friend actually told me that someone else uses rice water on the hair three times a week and again for me i feel that if that's your wash day routine then by all means go ahead but you must be careful not to overload and then also how long you should be keeping rice water on your hair for is not very long so as you apply the rice water onto your hair consider that your starting time so like 10 to 20 minutes um, but you can keep it on for longer if you like i would say no longer than a day in the past in my previous video also you'll see that i slept with the rice water treatment on my hair but the next day i rinsed it because the fermented rice water it is an enhanced protein treatment but because it is a fermented product it does have bacteria so you don't want to have like funny things in your hair it's also got like a sourish scent to it the longer you ferment it so if you're someone that's affected by the scent of like a vinegary smell in your hair then you should definitely rinse it also don't forget to like this video because that lets youtube know that this video is worth watching and it will give other people the opportunity to see it um, also subscribe to my channel so that you're notified when i upload and i will see you in my next one